welcome to this special YouTube podcast audio video thing because uh, this is the New Year message from me, uh, your host Robert Crichton, across the platforms. Uh, it has been an odd year, 2020, and uh, what has been most odd about it is having been a podcaster for a few years, uh, I'm now suddenly, rather unexpectedly, running a YouTube channel. So this video uh, slash podcast is a way of saying uh, hello to video people. Maybe you'd like to listen to the podcast and hello podcast people. Maybe you'd like to go and view some of the videos because a lot of the content does cross over in this sort of multi-platform strand that is beyond Shakespeare. Uh, as it has uh, has become over this very odd 2020. Um, first of all, I really want to just thank all of the people who have helped make 2020 bearable. It's been a pretty awful year uh, on personal levels as well as just the world. So the fact that we've been able to read plays together and uh, plan ahead and look ahead and use uh, these uh, these mediums to to look forward to a positive future has been uh, really really helpful for me um and it, it's been a year of setbacks as well as opportunities of going forward um so at the beginning of the year we were planning to do lots and lots of live shows or at least start uh, live shows and uh, our first one of the year got cancelled uh, because of the first lockdown. I mean, actually, we cancelled it before the first lockdown was announced, but you know, we saw which way the wind was blowing. Um, so the live possibilities have been less. But having discovered the opportunities that uh, online video platforms have given us, uh, we have been able to actually do a lot more. We have produced hundreds of videos. <laughs> it has been ridiculous uh, the amount of material that we've actually looked at. We are well on track now uh, sometime next year to have looked at and a first look video uh, exploration um, of every single play written before the opening uh, years of uh, Elizabeth. We've almost done all of medieval theatre. We've almost done all of the early Tudors. Uh, there's very little text that we haven't done an initial assessment of. And uh, as we come to the end of 2020, we've started doing second looks at plays and building up the toolbox for us to be able to, when we can go back into theatres and we can do things uh, in a more physical way, to, uh, to go forward with these plays and actually be ready to produce them. And anyone who's worked with me before will know that uh, a lot of what we've done with uh, Beyond Shakespeare has been a bit ad hoc in some of its preparations. And we've been discovering things as we go. So we have uh, uh, had the opportunity via uh, these online platforms to to understand plays. And we've met some lovely people along the way, uh, some wonderful collaborators who've come in and shared their time and their ideas and their thoughts and their terrible, terrible jokes. Um, and and, and I created a, a little community. And if you're watching this video or listening to this on the podcast, uh, you can always join us. Um, we now have an open forum, so long as your time difference uh, matches vaguely um, uh, Greenwich Mean Time and the times that we do stuff online. Uh, anyone from around the world with the internet connection can join us online, uh, reading plays, for the first time, uh, acting in plays in the second time, discussing and uh, and finding other ways of looking at this early modern, early material uh, of drama, but also other material as well. The uh, the expanse of stuff uh, is is sometimes overwhelming, um, but also is just a wonderful opportunity, depending on what your personal taste and personal interests are. So looking ahead to 2021, which hopefully will be a lot better than 2020. What are we going to be doing? I'm hoping that we're going to continue doing our first look uh, read-throughs online. Um, I say sign up for that is available. Uh, they're always on the website at beyondshakespeare.org. Go there. There's a, a, um, a join-in 
uh, exploring in isolation page uh, you just go there there's uh, a link is updated every week uh, saying uh, what the available reading dates are just sign up and join in and uh, all the information should be there if you can't find the correct information give us a buzz on the usual lines of communication admin at beyondshakespeare.org or uh, find us online at beyond shakes uh, on various uh, media platforms so i'm hoping we'll continue doing first looks and i'm hoping that uh, you out there will will join us as we sort of find out how these these plays function um, we've been starting to take these first look on zoom sessions a little bit further we've been looking at plays for a second time we've been running them um, we've been doing that a bit acty, but not too much because we don't want to exclude anyone who doesn't feel that confident with uh, with the uh, the technology, or for that matter, with the plays. Um, we're trying to be as as open and inviting as we can, um, and that is slowly moving us towards uh, a third look, where we try to produce Zoom uh, plays that are rehearsed and and properly prepared. Um, that's still a little bit way off. We're still sort of slowly edging there um, as we see where the world will be in 2021, because I don't know. So the intention is to continue doing these things that we've already been doing in 2020, uh, but uh, some things may pull back depending on people's availability and other things may come forward. One of the things that may change is hopefully we'll be having a few more patrons uh, signing up and a few more people donating on uh, ko-fi.com. Uh, um, we have um, already got a number of uh, wonderful patrons. I'd just like to thank the patrons who help keep all this online. At the moment, uh, the income we get from the patrons is covering all our expenses. We're no longer losing money and uh, we are uh, increasingly getting a budget to do things in the future. It's still uh, still relatively low, but if you join us, uh, the kind of projects we can produce will increase. We used to be primarily about producing full cast audio adaptations uh, as opposed to looking for Zoom things or, or even live theatre. Uh, that's taken a little little bit of the back burner in 2020 because of time and uh, and uh, also just simply it's just a bit depressing sitting in a room editing audio um, when you could be talking to people virtually online and 2020 really hasn't been the year to sit in a room and edit things. So there's a lot of full cast audio material that was promised for this year, which hasn't happened yet. Uh, it's still sitting on the editing uh, board and hopefully this year we'll start, 2021, we will start clearing some of that. And hopefully into the end of the year and into next year, we'll actually be going, right, we can start planning some new full cast audio adaptations to go with whatever we're doing on Zoom. And again, hopefully the live shows that we'll be doing in theatres. Again, we're much better prepared to produce those shows now. Uh, we've done all these first look exploring sessions. We've got a, a hopefully a larger audience base out there in the world and uh, and more of an opportunity to build and create better shows. So while a lot of that may or may not happen in 2021, hopefully 2022, uh, a lot more of those more large scale projects will start coming into being. Um, for those who might want to become a patron, uh, we've got in 2021 uh, a, a, a load of things in the pipeline, which will be exclusive or uh, alternative cuts for the uh, patrons. Uh, and so we have coming up in the new year, we have the Fantasy Production Meeting. Uh, that is a, a series of podcasts uh, for which if you're a patron, you will get the, uh, the complete recording of our sessions on on that. Uh, we do a, a production meeting for a fantasy production um, and we discuss what we would like to do with various plays that we really think are great but we can't at this time uh, do a production of. And also we discuss things in, in a way of going well if we had an almost unlimited budget what would we do with this play? So the first of those will be on The Old Wives' Tale. That's coming out in January. It's coming out to the patrons first in uh, over the next few days. And uh, depending on what tier, uh, you'll either get just the uh, podcast version uh, that will go out to everyone early, or you'll get the complete audio recording of the, uh, the, the live session, or you'll uh, go up another tier, you'll get uh, the complete video, the video of us uh, recording our discussion and our chat and all the silly fun things that we have lined up in that. If you're a uh, 
three pound tier um, uh, member of Patreon, uh, you get a tartan jest every week. Um, if you're going up to the uh, five pound uh, tier or five dollar or whatever your local currency is, um, uh, next year I'm going to start doing. Uh, readings of uh, uh, various chronicles. Uh, we're probably going to start with Hollingshed. Uh, we're going to start working through the idea of history that early modern uh, people had, and uh, that's going to be coming out possibly as videos, but I think that's probably just going to stick as an audio thing. There's probably going to be one of those a month. Uh, there may be... I'll split it into different. It depends on how these texts break down. Um, and also, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, this is very much a, a thing I really want to do, is I want to be doing a series of podcasts on uh, on Tudor interludes, because I have a strange fascination and love for Tudor interludes. So I'm going to be doing some slightly whimsical, silly essays, audio essays uh, on Tudor interludes that uh, will, again, primarily go to the patrons first uh, before they go out onto the podcast. There are other ideas that are in the the, the, the pipeline at the moment, I'm trying to create projects that are relatively simple and self-contained at the moment because the world is still very complicated and uh, and uh, and things that uh, hopefully you'll find engaging and fun. Uh, I'm hoping we can do more history, uh, more stuff about history, about the history of the plays and the history around the plays that we've been looking at. And that's something we I keep saying we'll be looking at later and uh, 2021 is the time to start making that happen. Um... So those are all threads that are going to be going out online. Uh, some of them are interactive, like uh, first look exploring sessions where anybody can join in. Uh, some are a little more, uh, well, if, if you've been joined in uh, or you're a patron, you'll get access to things. Uh, and most things eventually make their way to YouTube or to the podcast. Um, and as I say, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to produce more uh, content like that that's going to be exciting. Um, the one thing we did manage to do in 2020, or I managed to do in 2020, very much a personal project, I managed to actually do a live piece of theatre, admittedly in a theatre that didn't actually have any people in it, um, which was live streamed from the Key Theatre, which was the ghost of Richard III. And if possible, I really want to do more of that. Not necessarily with one-man shows and just me, and not necessarily in theatres that are empty, but it really did open our eyes to the possibility of producing live streamed theatre in relatively small theatres with relatively small audiences but to give it a, a much wider uh, audience uh, so next year depending on uh, or this year by the time this video goes out 2021 um, I'm, I'm hoping that the possibility of doing uh, more live on stage but also live virtually streamed uh, events will be possible uh, I'd say there's an awful lot of ifs and buts about the future of what's happening with Beyond Shakespeare. What I keep saying is our aim is to build the platform, to build an audience for the work that we do, and that your support means that we can produce more, uh, or we can commission more. Uh, not everything necessarily has to be produced directly by us. Uh, we uh, may be able to find collaborators and other people who might be interested um, in in having their work shared by our platform. Because, as I say, we have, we have various different tendrils now. We have a YouTube channel. A year ago, we didn't really have a YouTube channel. There was one video on the YouTube channel <laughs> for Beyond Shakespeare. Um, and that was it. We now have uh, over 200 videos covering over 100 plays. And on the podcast, we have over 340-plus uh, episodes uh, covering a slightly more indeterminate number of plays, depending on your definition of a play. Um, but uh, a good uh, 50 or so, I think. Um, so we've, we've covered a lot in a very short period of time. And I'm really hopeful that in 2021 we can sustain the things that sustained us uh, in 2020. And also, uh, and also do new things and different things going forward. Um, uh, and so if there are plays that we've done, uh, that you've watched the video for or listened to the audio of, and you want us to come back to, one of the points of what we do is that we don't just do a play, tick it off and ignore it and never talk to it again. Uh, the point of all of this work is to come back to a play and do it better the next time and do it the better the next time and have a bigger audience for it the next time. 
So if there's a play that you particularly like uh, and uh, or have ideas about, then get in touch. Uh, uh, again, uh, all the contact details are in the show notes for the video and the uh, podcast version of this little bit of chattage. Um, do, do get in touch and uh, we'll see where we can go. I, I can't, again, make absolute promises. Uh, we aren't a big platform. We're a, a website. We're a YouTube channel. We're a podcast at the moment. I really want to be able to branch out into other things as we go forward and to build a, a larger team as we go forward. But at the moment, it's it's still very, very small and niche. Uh, and, uh, and 2021, 22 is really going to be where hopefully we can expand and do more. Uh, and so your support, sharing, liking, uh, telling people about what we do, uh, or contributing if you have money. I'm always very fond of money. Uh, it makes it easier to pay actors to do things and, uh, and make things happen uh, in ways that uh, at the moment uh, it's very difficult to do. Uh, but we are also nicely a very lean operation. The overheads to keep everything online is relatively small, uh, which means that any money that comes in can be funneled straight to projects uh, fairly quickly. And uh, and create scalable works uh, so that we can maximise what we, what we put out, uh, and uh, and uh, hopefully entertain you, and keep you interested and engage you. So uh, here's farewell to 2020. Yeah, good riddance. Um, and hello to 2021, where hopefully we can take all the all the good and the bad that came out of 2020, and do something more and do something uh, exciting with it. And all that remains is to thank all of you who've been watching, all of you who've been listening, uh, all of you who've contributed and helped make these things happen, everyone who's read a, a part uh, in any of our sessions online, anyone who's helped prepare a text, anyone who's contributed as a patron, giving even £1 a month or $1 a month or whatever your local currency is a month, that makes a, a huge difference and makes all of this happen. So have a wonderful new year and I hope to see you soon. Bye.